Welcome back to the channel and as you can see we're back in Minecraft 1.20.4 with one of the most beautiful shaders I have ever seen in this game, Complementary Reimagine. And in this video I'm going to teach you how to add shaders to the newest version of Minecraft, which is 1.20.4. Let's get started with the tutorial. Step number one for installing iris for Minecraft 1.20.4 is to click the second link in the description which will bring you to of course our written guide on how to install iris. Now feel free to look at the screenshots and read through the guide, but if you just want to get straight to the point, all you gotta do is click where it says download iris here that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download now and now you're going to click download universal jar within a second the download shows automatically in my case it's asking me where to save the file but for you it's probably going to download automatically now once the file has been downloaded you can find it here on the little downloads area on chrome you can go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop now that we have iris we're gonna need some shaders right we're trying to get shaders in minecraft i'm gonna use complementary reimagine which are the shaders that you saw in the intro of this video if you want to use these nice shaders just click on the third link in the description and scroll down until you see download again you can read through the guide and stuff but if you just want to follow along just click on download then select files and in here we're gonna make this a little bit smaller we're gonna download the 1.20.4 shaders as of now the latest shaders that are available for complementary is 1.20.2 but not to worry because 1.20.2 are completely compatible with minecraft 1.20.4 just click on these little three dots click download file and within five seconds the download should start again in my case it's going to ask me where to save the file but for most of you the file will always download automatically by itself just click on save if you have the same option as me if not you can find the download up here in the top right go ahead and drag and drop that shader file into your desktop again this is a zip file you do not have to extract it. you can leave the zip file as it is now we are ready to install iris before we go ahead and install iris i do have to let you know that iris is a jar file and when you are using jar files for Minecraft above 1.16.5, you will need to have the latest Java available or at least Java 17. Whenever you try to install Iris, if you get any error, that is because you have an outdated Java. I'm gonna leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. I have videos on it. It's a super simple process and you guys shouldn't really struggle. I'm also going to leave you a guide on how to run a Jarfix. Jarfix is a file that you run after you install Java to update any Jar files in your computer to be linked to the new Java installation. So you download Java, you run a jar fix. It's a three step process, it's really simple. And all your jar files would be updated to the newest Java and your Iris installer will work. That is of course for those of you that don't get this file to open or maybe when you open it, it opens as a web browser or a text document. Most of us, however, will have the Iris installer working. In order to install the Iris installer, you have to make sure your Minecraft game is closed as well as your Minecraft launcher and that you have run Minecraft 1.20.4 at least once in your computer. If you try to install Iris 1.20.4 without having played Minecraft 1.20.4 at least once, the installation might not work. Anyways, once everything has been done and the game has been closed, go ahead and double click on the Iris installer. That is going to open this little menu right here. And as you can see, 1.20.4 is already selected automatically, which is great. Just make sure everything else looks the same and then click install. While Iris is installing in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor apex hosting if you are trying to make a server to play with your friends well this is it this is the signal you've been waiting for use the first link in the description for 25 percent off your first minecraft server something that i personally love about apex hosting is that you could control your server console through your phone so you could be away from home and you could actually change the settings of the server kick people out op people whatever you want to do using apex hosting so again, first link in the description, 25% off for a server that is on 24 seven. Now let's get back into the tutorial. As we can see, our Iris installer has finished. Our Iris installation has finished. Now we could go ahead and close this out and we could even delete the installer. How do we add the shaders now to the game? Well, first launch the Minecraft launcher. And as we can see, when the Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Iris properly, it will be selected automatically. If not, you could always head over to installations, make sure that modded is selected so Iris appears. Anyways, once we found that we have Iris installed, we could go ahead and click on play. Click that you understand and wait for the game to load after you click play again. Once the game has opened, we know that we installed Iris properly because it says modded down here. What are you gonna do to add the shaders? Well, first we're gonna launch a world, right? Because we wanna test out the shaders. Just launch a world. And once you're in a world, go ahead and press escape, head over to options, click on video settings. And as you can see, this whole menu has changed. This menu looks completely different. Now you're gonna click where it says shader packs. 
and in here you're gonna click open pack folder now i already have some shaders in here i'm gonna go ahead and delete them this folder should be completely empty for most of you if you already have some shaders in there don't worry we could still add our new shaders just go ahead and drag and drop this complementary reimagined shaders that we downloaded earlier as you can see we now have the zip file in there and if we head over back to the game we see complementary reimagining in here in order to enable the shaders all you have to do is click on them and click apply give it a second because depending on your computer this could take a minute or it could take one second now click on done 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 back to the game and as you can see we have some beautiful shaders in the game these are actually one of the most beautiful shaders i will always say this in every video i use complementary reimagining and yeah this is pretty much how to get shaders working if you want to disable the shaders within the game just press k and as you can see the shaders are disabled and if you want to access the shaders menu just press o and as you can see you access the shaders menu it's pretty simple iris makes it really really simple and i hope you enjoyed this video on how to add shaders to minecraft 1.20.4 if you want to learn how to add x-ray just click the video that is coming up on the screen and you'll be able to add x-ray and be able to see through the walls in this game combine that with some complementary to reimagine shaders and you will be OP.